next guest is uh, one of my personal heroes. Uh, he has more great songs than just about anyone ever. After 31 albums, he is still at it with two new projects, an Audible original called How to Play the Guitar and Why, and an army of global talent covering his classic this year's model on this Spanish model. It's out now. Please welcome Elvis Costello. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you doing? You okay? <laughs> I'm doing great. Do you remember um, seeing Charlize Theron at Disneyland? I just saw her in the hallway. Yeah. And I had to tell her, it wasn't me that went on the road. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't? It was my son. I, I have twin boys who are 14, Dexter and Frank. Dexter's like his mother, like the double black diamond, sports car, roller coaster kind of gal. I'm a kind of bit more of an earthbound kind of fellow, and my son Frank and I sat that one out. I did it once, never again. Can I tell you, I was having a hard time imagining you on the Tower of Terror, and I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I feel like I know you even better than I thought I yeah. did. Yeah. Well, you, you, you read me right. <laughs> you read me right. I, um, Are you with me on that one? I mean, honestly. Oh, well, yeah, I'm with you. I would never yeah, go on that. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. too cowardly I'm, to go I'm, on that. I'm, I, I, my heavy is the. Big Thunder Mountain. That, Big Thunder Mountain, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's as big as it goes for me, um, too. The teacups. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, I was listening to this Audible original, or people don't know, this is a, basically an audio recording you made. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost two hours long, and it's called How to Play Guitar and Why, the letter Y. Yeah. And this is very funny. I was not, I mean, I, you're a funny guy, but I was not expecting it to be co as comedic as it is. And I got a real kick out of it. Thank you. I've never heard a musician use the term yakskin moccasins before. No, it's a, it does require a context, of course. <laughs> yes, you know. of course it does, and yeah. I, 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 did, I do sort of start it off with a completely ludicrous premise that, of course, uh, you know, my musical talent uh, comes from uh, a great study of astrology, and I share my birthday with, as you can probably tell from my suave demeanor, you know, Sean Connery, mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> Leonard Bernstein, Wayne Shorter, and then it's sort of the idea of all of this being connected sort of runs out because I come across uh, Gene Simmons. Uh, of kids. With whom I do share a you know, fondness for lipstick and pancake makeup, and uh, <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus, who is, uh, like me, uh, a right Virgo. And uh, uh, we... Anyway, it all leads to the idea that you can put a lot of things in your way when learning to play an instrument. You can, you can put your own fear, but the, the main thing that, uh, that really obstructs most people is they begin in the key of C. Uh -huh. Now, if you know what I'm talking about here, if anybody plays the piano, you learn to play the piano in C because that's all the white keys, you know? And it's easier to read music in C. But if you're gonna play the guitar, what do you really wanna do? You wanna get the song out. So, have you, you talked you so learned, much? Yeah, well, do, you fear you the think? key of F. Do you, you, said. you play? You, I, I heard you play the clarinet. I do play the clarinet. Yes, it's, a, that's it's a, um, yeah, it's a real. Let me tell you, if you're looking to attract young ladies, uh, yeah. that's the way to go. The clarinet. Well, listen, oh yeah, that's I, yeah. There's a picture of me uh, playing the clarinet. Of course. I mean, people won't know this reference now, but Artie Short played the clarinet. Uh huh. He did pretty well with the ladies. Yeah. So well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a different time, and he wasn't wearing those jeans. And, and let's yeah. face it. He didn't have your sartorial, you know. He wasn't wearing Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, I no, think was no, part no, of the. Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, I mean, can I try to teach you the guitar? I would love, I've okay. never can really played a, the guitar. I've never even hey. tried really to play the guitar. <laughs> have you wow, taught to anyone? Have you ever really given a guitar lesson to a beginner? No, and that's the whole point of this thing. Oh, it's, that's exciting. This, this is an hour and a, you, you, obviously it seemed like much longer to Jimmy. He said it was two hours, it's actually only 90 minutes long. It's an hour and 48 minutes. Is it really? Yeah. Wow, well, that's with the music. <laughs> uh, so, so say, you know, put your finger here where the, the this chord, this, this one here. All right, put, your, put that finger there. Oh, on this guitar? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. See, I'm not that bright. Put your yeah. finger there on this one. Hold on, let me... I'm not good with... This one here, third, third. All right, yeah. in the middle of, uh, let's see, one, two... You see, already, Three. I'm not gonna be good. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay. All right. Got it. 
All right. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong one. No, you're on yeah. the wrong one. Then. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and put this one here, this, this... You see, this is a hopeless... Yeah, thing. no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's never gonna learn it. Like, anybody here play the guitar? <laughs> no, nobody plays the guitar. Anybody in the audience play the guitar? <laughs> let me, let me yeah. try it. Give me okay. another chance, please. All right, give you one more chance, all right? Yes, okay. Ring all right. finger. All right. Third fret, sixth string. Okay. Okay. Middle finger. Got it. This... I think. Second fret. Yeah. Fifth thing. All right. Okay. Little finger uh -huh. on the top string at the third fret. Yeah. Uh huh. Like that. Oh. Okay. Has anyone ever Lie fallen on your back over? While you do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Nice drum. Nice Got drum. it. Wait. Was that good? Perfect. That's it. I know Perfect. how to play the guitar he's now. Learned, he's learned how to play the guitar. Now I can just never move these fingers and yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. And that, if that is the point of my, of my story. Yes. Is that really. There is so much fear involved in learning, and you, you just need to persevere. And I, I recommend that you, you know, watch reruns of The Love Boat while moving between the first chord. Turn the sound down if you want. Any kind of show that you want. Just sit in front of the TV, mm -hmm. playing along, and it, before you know where you are, your fingers will move without thinking. The it, Love yeah. Boat. Yeah. And, and I'll be singing along, yeah. yeah. So my feeling is that uh, if you can master these three chords, there are many songs that are based just on three chords. If you can learn a fourth chord, you've got 10,000 songs. So my, my uh, story, uh, how to play the guitar and why, is really just based on this, but I presented it uh, not as we've seen painfully, no, as yeah. a, as a uh, serious... Yes, your version is more fun. <laughs> you know, anybody you... that's ever heard me play the guitar, Jimmy, knows that I am not the man to teach anybody Well, anything. I disagree with that. And but, I was um, wondering... Really, ask... really we, uh, I believe that if you can free, free your mind, your, your body will follow. Yeah. You know, um, and, and by the way, I'd love to return the favor and give you a little bass clarinet lesson uh, uh, after the show, you know? I have, uh, I have somebody in my house. We can share a read. Yes. Oh, yes, you do, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Okay. Elvis, this is a great idea. I didn't know what to make of it when I heard it until I heard the record, and it almost sounds like it, it was meant to be performed in Spanish. Uh, who, was this your idea to do this? It actually says on the back, it says, uh, produced by Sebastian Chris who has produced the last couple of records that, that so I've So it made. was his idea? No, it was oh. my, from an original idea by me, like they used to say in the movies, you know? Uh-huh, based on and, a... And I, 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 what happened was we had to remix one of the songs from this year's model for a television show, The, uh -huh. the Deuce. Right, The, the Deuce, Deuce yeah. sounds, How do you say it? You say the it? Deuce, but Native I like American. The Deuce better. The Deuce, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so n finding that the, the original master tapes were in good order, and the Attractions and I were at that stage of our development. We had been a band from July 77 until November 77, when we began the recording of this year's model 43 years ago. And we knew just enough not to <laughs> it up. Uh, <laughs> that we didn't know more. Uh, and so, you know, it had a certain cohesion to it that we probably never enjoyed again. Now, here we are uh, 43 years later, and all our friends have joined us in, in recording new vocals. Because let's face it, you know, much like my ability to teach you the guitar, the thing that's been holding this record back all these years is my singing. <laughs> uh, no, but, no, seriously, we, we, uh, you know, I say, I had this notion to jump into Spanish. I dreamed of it. And I waited for Sebastian to tell me I was out of my mind. And he said, you're out of your mind, let's do it. Did you really dream of it? I, I did sort of, I, when I was a kid, my, my father used to sing with a dance band, and I would go with him to the dance hall, and I, I would wait for him to sing, and he would often sing in Spanish. And he, he, he spoke Spanish and, and, you know, and sang many of these romantic ballads from the early 60s. A friend of mine asked him, how did you learn Spanish? And he said, in bed. <laughs> and, now, both my parents have passed on, so I'm not embarrassing anybody by <laughs> saying this now, but apparently there was a romantic reason. And now, with this face, that my romantic adventures have not extended to learning other tongues. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it is, a, uh, it is sort of something that he would have really loved, because I think what we've seen with it is that there's such a wide variety of, of singers, yeah. some of whom, like Juan Ez, who are huge stars, you'll know him. You, you will have heard him, Louis Fonzi, of course, is a, was on like one of the biggest records of you know, the recent years. But some people like La Marisol, who La Santa Cecilia, 
who, if you haven't had them on the show, they should be on next next show. You should have them. Bring, bring and, them back and, next week. We'll have you yeah, on every night. It's been both fun and just v I'm very, very grateful. And I really especially liked how you reversed the I and the S and made it C instead of Elvis there. That is, uh, you know, you added the I to the N. Uh, nicely done. Oh, yeah. Elvis, good. you are going to sing for us tonight with Juanes when yes. you come back. Um, and in Spanish as well. He's going to sing in Spanish. You will be in Sp He'll be in Spanish. Yeah. So listen, it's really, really good to see you again. It's good to see you and, too. And, and, and we look forward to coming back with all of the imposters. We have, uh, we have Pete and Davey here with Excellent. Your wonderful keyboard player Jeff. You're gonna, us. Jeff Babco is going to be yeah, sitting in with you tonight. Here. Pete Juanes. So we're going to. We'll see you all in Memphis in, next week when we open up the Absolutely. The again. Elvis Costello, a Spanish model and how to play the guitar and why are out now. We'll be right back with Elvis and Juanes. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.